your ears popping play boys welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be solving a little issue not even an issue but something that i notice that happens a lot with dusty um you guys know that i re recently just went turbo charge dusty's turbo so with turbo comes a lot of heat so i noticed like when i do like a second gear to like fourth gear pull the coolant temps actually rise up a decent amount so they'll go for like 188 all the way up to like 208 by the end of the fourth fourth gear pull and i don't like my car running that hot while doing a pull you feel me so in today's video we're going to be swapping out some old radi radiator fluid for some distilled water and some water water um this method right here should actually you know help a lot with the the cooling temperature that i'm like experiencing wow I just got tongue tied, but yeah, doing that should help a lot with the cooling temperature that I'm, that I'm, ah, that I'm seeing, because I really don't like to see 208 mid pull. Um, that's that's scary to me. I know these Hondas could run a little bit harder, like 210, and still be fine. But I believe over 210 is like where you really have an issue, and you shouldn't really be pushing a Honda, because then you can lift your head and uh, throw a head gasket. So yeah, that's the goal for today. Um, really, really simple process. Literally, I spent probably 60 70 dollars in total just to do this and it's pretty damn simple i'm gonna show you guys what to do and how to do it let's get it all right guys so what's needed for us to do this little install is a no skill no skill no spill funnel kit i bought this one from um advanced auto uh you could get it from harper freight if you have one local by you and it's definitely way cheaper than the, than what i paid for this i ended up paying uh i think 50 dollars for this little thing right here bro well it's really useful but still 50 dollars is a lot you can go to your local harper freight and pay like 30 or 40 dollars for the same kit it does the same thing um, the Harbor Freight I went to didn't have it in stock, and then the next one that was near me was like five miles away. I didn't f I didn't feel like driving over there, and also it was like seven o'clock, and Harbor Freight closes closes at eight, and I wanted to do it today, and I wait till next week to do this. If you guys are watching this video, I filmed this on the 25th, I think today is, but yeah, don't go buy that from AutoZone or Advanced Auto. Go to your local Harbor Freight and go buy one. Or if you're not in a rush, buy one off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find one for like $20, $25. But yeah, let's get into it. Oh, also, you're going to need some distilled water. I bought this from the dollar store, as you guys can see. Um, distilled water. And this pan I bought from AutoZone, well, Advanced Auto for $3. Um, one of the reason why you need this pan is just to catch the old fluid. And I probably, if the old, so, ah, what? If the old fluid looks good, I'll definitely put it back inside my little coolant reservoir thingy majiggy I use over there. And probably use that later on in the future if I ever need to do a, a flush. But today, we're just making this car run a little bit better, a little bit cooler. Because in Florida, it get really hot and summer about to hit crazy. Summer about to be booming. I already feel the heat and it is only April. Ah, June about to be crazy. All right, guys. So, um, what you're gonna do? Basically, you see that right there, that that white thing, the jiggy, jiggy. Um, what you're gonna do? You're gonna twist it. Um, obviously, you're gonna want to open your radiator cap. I haven't done that yet, but I'm just showing you guys what to do. How the heck did that get so far, bro? But anyways, you're gonna twist that open. Once this is open, um, you're gonna let the fluid drain. Not all of it. Well, I'm not going to do all of it. If you want to do all of it to like flush your radiator and all that stuff, you can. But I'm just draining it a little bit so I can get the radiator kind of low. So I can refill it with distilled water and just some water water. Um, I'm going to keep all the old coolant in just because, you know, sometimes Florida does get cold. And I don't feel, not like, not like super cold, but it does get, it does get kind of cold. And it takes forever for my car to just heat up. And like with this thick old oil I got in the system too, it, it takes forever. Like usually it takes me like 10, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, 10, 15, like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. For this car to actually get its idling temp. And I don't like to drive my car until it's actually like, you know, warmed up. 
So, yeah. So, I'm going to keep some cool in it so it doesn't take me 30 minutes for me to drive my car. And for you people who wonder where the turbo's at, hopefully you can see it right there. I <laughs> think that bad boy right there, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And also, here's a little small look at my custom downpipe, 3 inch downpipe. Looks amazing, bro. I wish I could show you guys more, but it's kind of hard. Ugh. Five minutes later. Alright guys, so I did drain a good portion of the coolant. Um well from the radiator. It's not all of it, but I didn't want to, you know, empty out the radiator anyways. I just wanted to get like a good portion like this. Uh actually have no idea how much this is. But as you can see, the fluid doesn't look bad. It's actually pretty pretty blue still. Um it does look a little like I don't even know what that is, but yeah, it needs some water and some water water. <laughs> So let's get that done right now. Um, gonna fill up the system. I already closed the bottom. Fill up the system and let it bleed. And uh, we should be a-okay. All right guys, so I'm bleeding the system. I already put the water water inside and a little bit of uh, distilled water and a little bit of coolant. Uh, make sure you guys fill up your reservoir. If it's not full, make sure you do that ASAP. Um, next thing you're gonna do, this is my second time like refilling it. Um, what you're gonna do is turn on your your heater and wait till like it actually gets hot like right now my heater is not even hot yet so I'm just gonna let the car just keep bleeding as you guys can see temperature is at 190 right now um, when it hits 194 that's when the fans well that's when the yeah that's when the fans kicked on so that's what I'm just waiting for so right now the fans just kicked on this is my first time ever doing it by myself so hopefully I'm doing it right I am gonna go watch a couple videos just to make sure I'm doing it but I do see bubbles. I guess you kind of see them. Right, I don't know if you guys see that, but bubbles is coming in the system. So, yeah, I'm just going to let it keep doing that. And once it holds like a steady idle, like a steady number, like right now it's staying at 194, 195. I'm just going to keep letting it uh, bleed. And then you turn off the system. It's going to suck in all the coolant and stuff. And, uh, yeah. I believe you just repeat the process after that. And I'm going a little drive and see where the cooling temps stay at. Oh, also another thing, don't let your cooling temps go higher than 210. Um, if it gets higher than 210, just turn off the car. Um, yeah, anything higher than 210 is really, not really bad, but it's bad. You can actually uh, blow your head gasket and stuff like that. So just, just keep watching your cooling temps. So right now mine is at 203. And I'm going to turn it off once it gets kind of hot. Alright guys, so I'm still bleeding the system. Um, I've been doing it for probably like an hour now. Yo, knife gens are like the most annoying cars to bleed. But what I did was I went on my Flash Pro and I increased my radiator fan heat. My fan heat. My radiator fan switch to like 210 and then like 205 for it to turn back off. Just so I could have the... the uh, the thermostat to open because I realized that um, the fans used to used to kick on at 194 or 195 and then turn off at 188 or 185. So the fans were always on. So the what's it called the thermostat was never getting hot. So I was wondering, I'm like, bro, I don't see no bubbles and the water level is not going down. So that's why I realized it's probably that. Now the system is is, is bleeding again. I see bubbles coming out of it and my temps. Even though with the fans off, my temps are staying pretty still low, like 194, 188. It just keeps fluctuating. So I'm guessing um, it is doing its job. I am going to touch the hose again to see if it actually, you know, opened. But yeah, this process is so annoying. I honestly hate doing this. This is my second time doing this, but my first time doing it by myself. And I honestly hate doing it, bro. It's so annoying. You would think it, would, it wouldn't take so long, but... It takes so dang long on these cars. But look, Tamps 188. Alright guys, so this is something good to see. I have the Tamps literally at, oh well, I have the fans kicking on at 110. And the car has been idling for probably like 4 or 5 minutes now. 
and the car you know the car already been hot and the temps have not jumped up to 200 yet which is really really nice Let's see if i could make it focus that is really really nice um that's crazy i guess the system is bled i don't see no bubbles i don't see actually wait was that a bubble well i haven't seen anything happening to the cooling system um i've been trying to you know bleed it for a past hour now and uh just been just been like that the fan kicked on multiple times i turned the ac co the ac not ac the heater core on the heat is hot fans supposed to kick on at 210 it's not even letting it get that hot pretty nice all right guys so we're gonna go a little drive hopefully the temps stay good i really really hope so let's do it all right guys so driving temps are 188 i mean 186 i'm going like 47 right now um in fifth gear 185 seems like it's going down as we're driving but i got to see how it is during the pool and how it is when it's just idling but so far it's not bad seem like it's doing pretty well One ninety idling. Mind you, it is a pretty hot day, and I was basically revving the crap out this car. Still pretty solid. I feel like I still have air in the system, bro. I don't know why. I just feel like I do. But still pretty solid for it, for what it is. It is 83 degrees outside. It feels like 85, 90 to be honest. So 190 is not bad at all. And it keeps fluctuating on the 190, 188, 190, 188, 186. So it's not that bad. I guess this uh, method did help. A little bit I just got to do a pull see how you know how the temps is after a pull but uh, yeah I was revving the crap out the car so the car is already pretty hot one ninety I mean if it's just at one ninety all day I can't get mad at that I can imagine when it is like what degrees it is when it's actually you know decent outside but right now it is pretty hot and it's kind of humid didn't go up usually when I do a pull that thing goes up to like two 200 that's nice to see that is really nice to see 188 that is really nice to see Whew. It's actually really 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 nice to see that uh, I'm not having any coolant issues bro I look so dark is this person staring at me? Say hi to the camera, bro. But yeah, it is really, really nice to know that I could do pulls and it's not gonna overheat. Like right now, it's 83 degrees, hot as hell, and the temperature is 190. That's not fucking bad. Not at all. Let's see if I get another pool. Make sure there's no cops around me. Yeah, these temps are really freaking solid. 190. 
the highest I seen was 194. Like I said, when I usually get to the top of third or fourth, I see 20 something, which is scary for me. Most people probably like, bro, that's normal. Nah, bro, I don't like that. I don't like it being that hot. is freaking solid 194 mid pool is solid as well uh, I, I can't I can't ask for anything better than that I noticed people out there were like bro why don't you just change the radiator because I don't feel like throwing $400 at this car right now so a little water water a little distilled water bleed the system drop the temps like 10 degrees 10 degrees 5 degrees that's fine with me I was seeing 208 at the top of fourth gear. That's scary. That's real scary. 195 right after doing the pull. It's not bad to me. Not at all. Compared to what I was seeing before. Like right after, like right after a pull, if I was to come in and just let the car idle in one one place. Um, without the fans, I will see like 205, 204. So, like I said, 10 degrees decrease, decrease is not bad. Obviously, if I had a radiator, like a bigger radiator, bigger fans, I'll see way more. I, I'll probably see like a 25, 20 uh, decrease in temperature, but I don't have that. This is stock radiator, stock stock thermostat, stock fans with a turbocharged knife gen that produce a lot of damn heat, so I don't have a blanket on. And the temps is actually going freaking down. Went from 195 to 194. So yeah, this water water stuff, perfect water water distilled water perfect now if i was to like drain out the whole radiator system and then do the the water water and just distill water i'm pretty sure i'll see like 185 187 somewhere around there but 194 not bad especially doing the pool top of fourth 194 i'm not seeing 208 perfect but yeah man this is where i'm gonna end off the video if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got soda Head to your boy's site, www.zubigarage.com. Cop some merch. I got this shirt on there as well. Uh, kind of can see the back. It has Dusty on the back and it says Zuvi. Pretty fire shirt in my opinion. And I have the hoodie version of that too. So if you guys want to cop, go head down there. Um, Zuvi, ZuviGarage.com. And uh, yeah, support the channel. Your boy's out. Peace.